Hey guys, it's me, Steven. So, you know, uh, as promised, I would start my blog or my video blog with um, a bullying video. I, I po posted something and you guys cho chose the bullying video, so um, that's what I'm going to start with. So, without further ado, here's my story. I started uh, elementary and things were good in elementary. You know how elementary goes, you know, just trying to find your footing and everything was cool. So then after elementary, you know, I was like, hey, time to go to middle school. And in middle school, I was like, I went to a private school. And whenever you think private school, you think, hey, you know, um, everything's cool, you know, rich, popular kids. No, it was nothing like that. It was just a fact of, you know, trying to get your footing again in a brand new place. When you're the new kid, it's, it's always difficult, let me tell you. But, um, you know, starting private school, it was particularly, uh, I was excited for it, actually. I was particularly excited because, you know, new people, you know, a bigger school, so to speak. And, you know, uh, every time, you know, it's always a fun environment. Every time you go to a school, it's, it's a little nervous. You get a little nervous, but you're also excited. And for me, I was excited to go to a new school. That was until maybe about the third week where, People would just start putting me down, things like that. Oh, you know, you for this, this, and this, or whatever the situation may be. Um, I didn't really feel close to anybody, to be honest, in entering around that time. But um, I tried my best to make friends and things like that. Um, I was always nice to everybody and helping people out, and you know, just being the person that I am that you see me as now. Very friendly, very nice. Well, unfortunately, people took advantage of that when you know they would just start you know helping me and. Uh, I, I was I enjoyed people helping me and things like that. There were some nice people who were helping me, but other people who did take advantage of my, you know, being me being a nice person would constantly just pick at me. Like for example, we went to lunch and everybody has their lunch box or they order things from the cafeteria. I had my lunch box and people would take it from me. You know, just take my food from it, things of that nature. And there was this one kid who would just take it from me, who would just run around and play with it and things like that. And I, I mean, I, at first I was like, okay, he's just joking around, things like that. But unfortunately it wasn't a joke because it happened every single day. And um, it was just very nerve wracking. It went from, you know, atta uh, attacking me, um, my personal items, things like that, to attacking me as a person where people would put down my looks, you know, oh, your nose is so huge, you're too skinny, uh, you're ugly, you know, you're uh, all these things where it did hurt you. It, it, and, and the thing is, is it doesn't really bother you as much until you hear it over and over and over again. And when you hear it over and over like that, you start to believe it. You start to think that about yourself. And that point is where my confidence was shattered a little bit, where you have people just constantly putting you down and hurting you, and you really don't know what to do at that point. You know, I was thinking, hey, should I tell somebody? But if I tell somebody, you always have that in the back of your mind, you know, I'm going to make it worse. It's not going to get better. And unfortunately, that's, that's how, what I thought. It wasn't going to get better if I told somebody, because it was only going to make things worse. At least that's what my thoughts were. So. Uh, that happened a while and of course I would fight back I, I was not going to be put down like that I would fight back but unfortunately people laughed at me whenever I did try to fight back there was a, another kid who was named Steven in my school where um, you know he people would just say oh we look the same or things like that but um, when I would fight back and say you know what I thought to these people um, they would just you know not really say much they would they would just laugh snicker they wouldn't they would just keep doing it over and over and over how many times I fought back. The one thing I hated in middle school was PE because, you know, who wants to get the skinny, ugly kid to play basketball or to do whatever? I was always picked last, you know, and it's that point where you feel like, hey, nobody really wants you, you know? And I, I, I just, I mean, you're forced to PE, you don't have really have a choice. So I, I just went along with it. And I went through that for my entire middle school career where you know you're just putting down things like that and I let it go as hard as it was I let it go but the worst part of it was in high school uh, high school high school got worse particularly it was my very first year of high school when things got worse um, you know I, I it's a brand new school uh, where I went to again I, all again very excited uh, I, I always enjoy making friends and things like that but it came to an opportunity where I was like, all right, let's try to make some friends. Let's try to do something here. So I my first, my very first day, guys, my first day, um, I'm in, I'm in uh, school because there's like a, um, 
a fence area we get where the students have to go before going into the school so there's a fence area and we all have to line up there so of course um, everybody knows I'm new because I mean the school has been open for a while but obviously I was never there so they knew hey you know it's a new school for a new school for me at least and um, it's the school was like two years old but it's a new uh, opportunity for me to go to an, a very new school and it's high school so um, I go to the school and they say, hey, what's your name, and all, the, all that, try to get to know you and things like that. So I made the mistake of being honest with them and telling them, hey, I went to a private school. I came from my private school. I should have never said that because that day, the very first day, they nicknamed me Private. They would salute at me whenever they saw me. They would nickname me Private and all that type of stuff. And I took it again, my, me being naive that I was, I took it as a joke. And... That is something I regret doing now because that first day I felt like they were like, you know what, hey, this kid's easy to make fun of. This kid is easy to pick on. So we're gonna do that. And the worst part where I felt bad, the worst part was there, there was this girl in high school. I still remember her name, but I'm not gonna give out her name, obviously for reasons of this video, but um, I still remember her name. And the thing is, is that she told me, she was yelling at me for some reason, I don't remember what, and she yelled out very loud, which I'm not going to yell in here, but um, she yelled out, nobody wants you here. And she yelled that out very loud. And nobody else stood up to defend me. Nobody else said anything. They just kept quiet. And this girl basically had the school under her control. But I don't mean the school, but teachers. Teachers were afraid of her. It tells you that what type of school I went to. Teachers were afraid of her, things like that. And it, it's just not a good, she was not a good person. And... Um, at that point, I felt very alone, very low. Um, there was times I didn't even want to go to school. I felt very bad about myself. Uh, my confidence has, was completely gone. Um, it was just a very horrible experience. Um, it was it's bad. I mean, it, things got very, very bad for me, and I didn't really enjoy being there um, at all. And from that first year, it was very bad. Um, I felt alone. I didn't feel like I had any real friends. Um, there was two people I felt close to. Um, in high school and um, it was I, I thought okay well I'm getting to know, know these two people now and everything was fine until I went to uh, lunch and you know again nobody really took anything from me at lunch but I mean I, I just I, lunch was fine I, mean, I, I sat with them everything was fine it got worse my sophomore year with those two with one girl in particular where I would, she would be like, hey, you know what, can I borrow your cell phone? And I was like, sure. So I, I was being, again, being the nice person I am, let her borrow my cell phone. Um, another mistake I made, because at that point I felt like she took advantage of me. She would always ask for it. And then it got to a point where she would expect it. She would expect me to give her my phone, to just give her and let her have it. And, and it, it's, it's at that point where, you know, it's just a bad opportunity and a bad thing that you're doing. But I felt at the point where, you know, I have to do it because I'm, I'm a nice person. So it got to that point where I just, she just expected the phone and things like that. And I felt truly taken advantage of at that point. But I felt alone. I, I went into depression a little bit where I, I just didn't want to get up. I didn't want to go to school. Um, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's at a point where, why would you want to go to a place where nobody wants you? You know, and that's, that's what that one girl in particular who's, who told me nobody wants you here. She said, why are you even here? Nobody wants you. Uh, why, why don't you just go, why don't you just leave? Uh, all that type of stuff. It, it got to that point where I felt attacked. I felt cornered. I, it was bad. It was truly bad. Um, you know, and it's, it's, an up, it's a thing where you know you're in a bad situation and again same thing in middle school I didn't want to tell anybody I didn't want to you know hey this is a situation where I have to tell people I I wanted to but again when that person who I'm talking about I felt very I was afraid of her to be honest I was afraid of her and um, she is just a person where you don't want to get on the wrong side of her and I felt a lot of people had that same feelings that I did where they didn't want to get on the wrong side of her either and for me, it was just an opportunity of I can't, I can't get on the wrong side of her. I can't tell nobody. And that was a mistake that I made. If I would have told somebody, it might have got better. It might have got worse. I don't know, but I'll never know because I didn't tell anybody. And that's the mistake I made because I should have. 
Um, so anybody out there who is getting bullied, let me just say it does get better. And let me tell you how it gets better. Um, you grow up. Um, I can tell you honestly that I have not spoken to a single person uh, for my graduating class apart from maybe three or four people. Um, people say, oh, you know, let me put it this way. I had 15 people in my graduating class. 15. I talked to four. And it's at that point where you realize none of those people really cared about you. In high school, nobody, those no one really cared about you. They may say, oh, we're going to be friends forever, you know, things like that. It doesn't happen. Uh, from my experience, it doesn't happen. I have not spoken to a single person apart from, like I said, four people who I graduated with. Um, they, have, or they know my Twitter. They know my uh, Facebook. They can message me on there. Do whatever. I'm fine with it. I'll be open to them. I will never, ever be mean to them because that's just not who I am. Um, kill them with kindness, as, as they say. Now I'm doing stuff with the Spurs, with the Rampage, uh, with a lot of teams here in San Antonio. I've got my work published across uh, the pond in the UK. And now those same people are telling me, hey, can you give me tickets to the game? Can you... Um, you know, can you hook me up with this? That's so cool. I'm proud of you. And I'm thinking none of you really cared about me when I was in high school. So why would that happen now? Um, but for anybody else out there, like I said, who's getting bullied, you do it does get better and you do have someone to talk to. You can message me. I'm here for any of you anytime. Um, just please comment below if you like the video. You can uh, subscribe if you like the video. But let me just tell you this, guys. Every single one of you out there who is getting bullied, you do matter. Don't ever think that you don't. All of you matter. All of you mean something to a lot of people. Um, so you know what? Psst, forget everybody out there. Forget all those people who don't like you. Focus on the people that truly do. And I promise you, your life will get better. It's a very difficult situation to talk about, but um, I, for one, really do feel passionate about helping people. And any of you out there who do need help, who do need someone to talk to, I'm here for all of you. And um, as always, you know, if you want to contact me, I'll leave my, uh, you know, my social media stuff in the description box below. And again, guys, you can always co contact me anytime. Uh, my next video is coming up very soon. So uh, if you guys need anything, you just follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and um, I'll talk to you on the next video. All right, guys. Peace. And it got to a point where I would go home. And I would be like, you know what? What's the point of being here? What's the point of having people say they don't want you here? They don't care about you. What's the point? What's the point of really being here on this earth right now? Um, there would be days where I would wish not to wake up anymore, to be honest. There would be days where I would wish not to wake up.